Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is Friday and I have family coming over later, which I cannot wait for. We currently have a couple of different workmen in the house as well, so it's quite a busy day. We've got the plumbers in to fix off a few of the radiators. The brand new radiators are quite heavy and quite big and they're a little bit fussy to fit. So a few of them have been having like little leaks. So we needed that finishing off. Um, we're also having our alarm system updated. So it's just lots of different little bits uh, going on in the house. However, I wanted to tuck myself away. A few days ago, I posted a video showing an enormous wardrobe clear out, which I'd been so desperate to do for the past month. And I didn't have the time to film it. So I kept putting it off and putting it off because like, I know you guys will probably want to watch that on camera. So I put it off so I could film everything. So I finally got that done. So that's in my last video, if you didn't see that. And it feels really wonderful, like going back to my wardrobes now and seeing pieces that I haven't worn for, you know, months or even years in some cases, because I've kind of refound them and I'm like reshopping my own wardrobe again, which is always so nice to do. And so I'm kind of feeling really ready for autumn now. But because of that, I'm also really kind of inspired for autumn winter fashion. As much as it's lovely to kind of clear out and downsize, this is still my job to show you the new pieces, what's inspiring me, how to wear different looks, how to wear certain colours, different styles. You know, that that is what I enjoy doing and I think that's why a lot of you watch me. So, you know, I still have to buy new things. But recently, the things I've been buying and the things that I've been wanting to wear are, I think, quite different to what I've worn in the past. You'll have seen from that clear out that I was really, really brutal with the pieces that I was getting rid of. A number of which I bagged up and gave to charity. We have like a, a charity bin that I can put things in. A number of pieces I've given to friends and family, so they're all really happy. And then a number of which I'll be selling if they're kind of like expensive designer products that I know some of you guys would like. So yeah, I feel like I've had a bit of a transition recently, this entire year actually, in what I I'm enjoying wearing. And when it comes to dresses and colours and shapes and things, my choices have just changed so dramatically over the past year, I think. I used to love so much like colour and pattern, especially florals, like Zimmerman was my thing. For years I collected Zimmerman pieces and if you've seen the latest clear out, you'll see how many Zimmerman pieces I've decided to, you know, to sell. It might be the season, it might just be my mood, it might be me aging up. I mean, I'm 33 now. I started blogging when I was 23. 20, must be 23. Because it's my 10 year anniversary tomorrow. So yeah, I started when I was 23. You know, I'd wear space printed leggings and all pink outfits. Everything was colour and pattern and brights. And yeah, like I say, maybe it's because it's autumn. Or maybe it's because I've, you know, I feel like I'm growing into my style more. But this season especially, I just want to wear blacks, browns, burgundies and beiges. <laughs> that is kind of my style to a T. So that is what I am absolutely loving. Um, and that's what I'm excited about. So on that note, the next little clips will be a paid for advertorial with net porte Quite often my Saturday or Sunday nights is me sat down all cozy on the sofa or on the bed with my laptop going through the latest pieces from one of my favorite retailers. And so I was sat last week <laughs> for hours going through the latest pieces, picking out items that I felt could fit into my wardrobe and are quite versatile and wearable pieces for seasons to come. Because this is it, I'm kind of in this headspace now where I don't want to buy as much that is going to be out of style soon, won't be as classic, won't be as versatile. Let me show you what I've picked up. This is going to be a really lovely autumnal selection of products and I'm genuinely so excited to kind of try everything on too. Let's get stuck in. Where do I even start here? Let's start with these. A pair of faux leather trousers. As always guys, I'll leave links to everything down below in order that I show you them. Um, but my other Stella McCartney's, of which I have two pairs, because I wear them so much, they have slightly, like the leather has almost come away a little bit in places. But I mean, it just shows how much I actually wear them, which is most of the time. So I wanted to try something else. And so I saw these and thought, let's give these a go. On first appearance, they're quite a bit shinier, not as matte as my Stella's, but you never know, they could be really fabulous. So let's give these a whirl. 
Oh, and, and seeing as I'll then need to have a top on, <laughs> I've actually bought a number of tops. Obviously, autumn season is knit season, and knit season is my season. Found this one um, from Totem, and I feel like I've seen a lot of people wear this. I just didn't have it, and I felt it was very me. I mean, it's a stripe, and I know that I'm moving away from like patterned and bold things, but this I felt I could deal with. So let me try these together. Okay, outfit number one. These are so nice and so me. They they both fit really well. First of all, the jumper. I love the fit. Obviously, it's meant to be very oversized, very kind of bat wing, um, super comfortable. And I mean, this is a size extra small, so it's meant to come oversized like this. But you put then around the top and the neck. This is nice and fitted. I mean, I love her roll neck. And this is just really really lovely. I feel really really nice in this. I love the length, I love this kind of larger section here where there's no stripes. It's just really 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 nice. So actually I'm kind of sold. I'm kind of sold on this. I think it's really lovely. I mean I could turn this under. It's a bit shorter. Yeah it's really really nice. Then the trousers and the Nanushka trousers again fit really lovely. I yeah, especially around all around the waist and the bump, they fit super nice. Um, and I like the fact that in comparison to my other faux leather trousers, let me move you down, these are a little less fitted on the leg. They're still a bit of a cropped shape to the ankles, you know, and they're, they're not quite as heavy in the weight of these either. They do have almost a bit of a leather legging effect to them in a, in a way, so they're not too heavy to wear. Um, so, you know, with a pair of, let me find a pair of heels to go with. Let's just go for my trusty Bottegas because what else? Yeah, I almost like the way that these hang on the leg. The, the way it leads into the crop, it's not too rigid, the fabrics, it's just got a little bit of like drape almost. They're really cool, they're really trendy. Yeah, so I really I really like this look. Really wearable for anyone, but just looks a little bit more stylish. Oh goodness, I've got a horrible feeling that I'm gonna need to keep everything from this. And I went a little bit overboard, I'm not gonna lie to you. Right, okay, first pieces, first pieces down. Such great like autumn essentials. And like, all these pieces, by the way, I picked because I felt they were real autumn essentials, like the it pieces for autumn. Expanding your autumn wardrobe with something a little bit more warm, autumnal in tone, or just right for the season. So I'm going to try on now this little number. You guys will probably recognise this. I have this in cream already. And because of how much I've worn it in cream, I felt like maybe buying it in another colour would be a lovely idea. And I must admit that burgundy cherry red shades like this, maroons, um, are a big favourite of mine and also are amazing for this time of year. So I thought, let's just try one, the burgundy, to see how much I might wear this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at that colour. Oh, it's stunning. It's this like deep, rich burgundy with purple tones. I absolutely love it. I don't know why I've never bought this before. This is absolutely gorgeous. Don't don't mind if you see a bit of my bra. I've just tucked it down because I forgot to take it off before I put this on. But I needed to get the straps out of the way because it's just a little bit off the shoulders, this. Um, now, quite often with my other one, I do tuck this bit in. It is nice to leave it out too, but I just prefer it personally to look more like a bodysuit. And I think it just gives a little bit more shape when you do. But, I mean, this is such a me, a me outfit, like the ideal autumnal outfit. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. I think I'm going to love everything that I've just picked up. This is so autumnal. What a stunning shade. I love it against my skin tone and my hair colour. The quality of these is divine. I realise, obviously, the price point of these tops does feel quite hefty, but the amount that I've worn the other one, and I've kept it season on season on season because it hasn't gone out of fashion, it's quite timeless, sweetheart neckline, slightly off the shoulder in the arms. You know, it's something you can keep on wearing and it's so thick. The fabric is so thick and beautiful and luxurious. You will just keep it. So actually, it's one of those pieces, I'm not going to say an investment piece, but it's a piece you will keep for a long time and get your wear out of it. I'm, I'm really sold on both the trousers and the top. Right now, I've got a jacket to go over this that I feel will be perfect with it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right now, I am absolutely obsessed 
with YSL. Anything that Saint Laurent makes, I am just absolutely in love with. I can't tell you how much that brand has stolen my heart recently. I just the entire aesthetic that Anthony Vaccarello has created with Saint Laurent. It's just completely my, my vibe, especially my new mood for the year. Masculine, but powerful silhouettes for women. So as you know, over the years I have been buying more and more Saint Laurent. I've got a couple of their blazers, their bags of course, and, and now I'm obsessed with their shoes. But their blazers and outerwear I am just in love with right now. And I saw this one. Herringbone jackets are enormous for the season. And this is one I saw that I absolutely fell in love with this. Now this is a size 34, I think it's the smallest they do, but actually I don't think I would need, don't think I'd need a bigger size because then the shoulders would be too big. Just look at that shoulder silhouette. Oh, it's just, yeah, I think it, I just love the boxy fit. I love the fabric, the thickness and so the way it drapes is just so beautiful. But I also love the crop sleeve and I mean, it's completely up to you. You don't have to wear a sleeve beneath it. You could tuck the sleeve up. You know, it all depends on what you want to wear beneath it. But I kind of love the double layering effect of this. I think it looks really cool. Actually, like this, obviously, it's fashion is completely subjective. You might not like it. I really, really do. Um, yesterday I was wearing it with, I tried it on over a black bodysuit, which was a bit more fitted to the arms to here. Again, that kind of blended in seamlessly and looked great. But equally, like I said, you could just pull up your arms if you wanted to. This just makes me feel so put together and powerful. And, you know, it is a classic, beautiful brown herringbone blazer. And I'm just in love with it. It does also fasten up. If it does get a bit chilly, <sighs> the YSL silhouettes. I can't get enough. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. What do you think of the blazer? What do you think of everything so far? Let me know. By the time you see this, I will still have this box here so I can make decisions. And honestly, as much as you guys might not realize it, you re you guys really do instruct my opinions on what I often keep or don't keep when it comes to these, um, these try-ons. So now, now, now. Talking of Saint Laurent, I have another dream jacket to show you and this, if you are a Rosie Hunterton Wiley fan, you may have seen this on her. She recently went to the Saint Laurent show in Paris and she wore this jacket. And so I had, out of ultimate curiosity, I had to buy it. Just like look at this detail. <sighs> Again, I know from recent, with my big beautiful bag, a lot of you don't like big obnoxious logos. Some of you do, again it's subjective. But I just had to try this just for my own, my own sake. It is a rich, deep, very blue, almost black, midnight blue, velvet jacket. Let's try this on together. Now this is one size. There aren't alternative sizes. From trying it on for like a moment last night, I feel it fits, it fits just about okay on me. Of course it's, it's oversized of course, but if I did want to do up the buttons, you know, it's not, it's still of a good shape around me. So actually, I feel it fits really, really well. Big, beautiful logo on the back. I love the structure. The fabric is just beautiful. Yeah, but of course, this is at the top end of everything that I've bought. This is obviously YSL coat of the season. It's gonna be a real it piece. But what do you guys think? Do you think I keep it as like an it piece? Or do you think it's not worth it? What do you think? I know that if I don't want this, I'm get my Dyson on because it's a piece of hair that is driving me mad. I can just see it every time I look in the mirror. Oh, that's better. That is better. Yeah. So let me know. I was what I was saying. If if I if I did actually decide that I don't want this, I know that Susie will want to buy this from me because <laughs> she's obsessed with it too. I mean, what do you guys think? I love it. I love it. But I don't know if I love it as much as the blazer. I feel like the blazer I'd wear even more. Okay. Next up. This is a knee knit, if I ever saw one, a navy blue ribbed thick wool knit. I really like the detailing all around here. I love the big chunky fit of this. In fact, the neckline of this, oh no it is, it rolls. I was gonna say, it feels like it was sewn in, like the perfect knit. Um, no, it's not, it is a big, big chunky boy which again I love, I often just like to leave it really rolled and often even just like over my chin. I know 
Again, some people aren't into that, but it's always nice when you're a little bit cold. But otherwise, you can tuck it in, you can roll it over, whichever way you want. But it's, it's lovely. It's just a really thick, great quality. I just like, I like the length of this. It's not too short. So it's just got that really lovely feel to this. It's a bit asymmetrical. It's a little bit long at the back. A little bit of a slit here. I love the length of sleeves. I love it when my knits are a little bit over my hands. It's just comfy and cosy and it's a perfect like deep midnight blue navy again. Oh, there's a lot of keepers in this in this box. Um, right, let's do... Again, I've got a couple of knits, but we can decide between them. Um, then let's go for... I love this brand. I think they make such beautiful like cashmere pieces and I love the colour of this, so let's try it. Wow, this is so soft. Like I said, the cashmere that this company do is always so outstanding. This is super, su super duper soft. It just feels like beautiful on the skin. I'm so cozy. And again, it's such a beautiful, like more relaxed, but elevated knit. It's quite nice how it's a bit shorter here and works around longer to the back. With this ribbed hemline. The quality is absolutely gorgeous. I love the ribbed neck too. Um, I definitely think it's more of a relaxed feel, much more for more casual days. For me it would be anyway, a bit more casual. Potentially I feel the other two I would maybe wear a little more than this. So if I'm trying to weigh up between things I'm going to keep or not, if I'm, I'm trying to not buy everything here, that would be my only thing i say. But otherwise, for something casual that I want to feel amazing in, you know, go see friends in this and just feel, you know, really put together, this is perfect <laughs> let's keep on the knit train i thought this was rather gorgeous too this little piece it's like a really thick it almost feels a bit chenille-esque and i love the gray so ooh, yeah this is cool it's got really oversized sleeves you know it's kind of like balloon sleeves so it's got a bit more shape and a bit more of a feature to it it's not just a standard gray knit i love the height yeah, go say hi to everybody. Hi. Hello, everyone. I am Bo. I am the Disney character dog that you all know and love. He's just so cute. I just can't get over this dog. <laughs> Gotta love him. Do you want to sit here, darling? Yeah, I love the height of this neck. That it's. I, I really don't like cropped necks when they're just, when it's, um, what's it called? Mock neck. I'm not as keen on those. I like it to be high and up to the bottom of my chin. And I like this just sits like that. There's no fuss to it, it just sits there. It's a great length, really great length, not crop, not too long. You know, you could tuck it quite easily. A little bit more shape. Oh, it's so nice. It's so, um, again, it's something you could wear out with heels and it'd be a little bit more elevated because of the style of it. I think it's cool. It's really nice and it's lovely. It's like so thick. I mean, look how thick and chunky that is. You can see how chunky that fabric is. Ooh, yeah, this is this is a good one, guys. This is a good one. Okay, we're almost at the bottom of this knitwear pile. I bought a cardigan. Oh, so adorable. Believe it or not, I did not own a black cardigan, and I'm seeing it right now. I'm only wearing black. Thought it would be a good idea to get one. Um, this is really lovely. Um, again, ribbed. It's not super duper chunky or thick like the previous, but it's just lightweight. You can throw it over a t-shirt or a body. Yeah, in fact, it's, of, it's a kind of length that you don't even need to tuck it. It's just a lovely, crop, more cropped finish. Yeah, I really like it. Maybe second button a little bit more open, a bit more shape. It looks so nice with one of my new, my new necklaces. Beautiful with this one, actually. This is one of my woven necklaces. Just with that on with it. Like that's so pretty. Why is everything so nice? <laughs> um, let's do a pair of shoes. I've got one pair of shoes to show you. Hello. These, again, how, how me are these? In fact, I own these already. I own these in a grey suede and I own them in a light pink beige, both of which I've worn so much and will not be getting rid of anytime soon. In fact, the grey ones I was wearing yesterday to London. So you probably saw them in that vlog. These are the burgundy leather version and they're amazing in fact i'm going to put them on with this although i'll probably get strange noises coming out of these boots because i've got no socks on and again in honesty i could never wear my other faux leather trousers with boots because of the structure it didn't really allow but these i can tuck in quite nicely because they aren't 
super thick and super structured. Oh gosh, I must feel so good in a pair of boots. I must admit, I have had my eyes on these for a little while now. I actually bought them in black uh, last Christmas, in fact January, and I think I sent them back in the black in the end because I was like, no, I've got a lot of black boots. I don't need, I don't need for a pair of black boots, but then I saw they were in this burgundy and I've mentioned how I feel about burgundies. Yeah, like I said, I might not wear them with these trousers, but just to give you a bit of an idea, I think that looks kind of cool. <laughs> they are just such a flattering boot. I think over leggings, even better when it's a lot more seamless. Hopefully you get the vibe just with the boots and the shape and how versatile these will be. Also, midi dresses that come over the edge of these will look outstanding. Love. These are the autumn it boot for me, for sure. Okay, what else do I have to show you? By the way, today, if I seem a little bit out of it, a bit groggy, I have the worst headache. It is just like, there's like a vein here, just I can feel it throbbing in my head. Oh, so I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling all that good. Oh, I've got a pair of leggings here. I should show you these with the boots. Okay, I've got just a few more pieces to show you, I promise. Okay, so two nice easy pieces to show you. First of all, it's this vest. I have this in white and I've worn it so much. I realise it's not technically the season for vests right now, but it's a good basic layer. I love the white one so much, I've worn it so much that I felt if I could get the black, then it's a really good idea just to get the perfect black vest. So this is just an easy keeper. And then with that, I bought these leggings. They're so nice. Tired up a bit. It's they're so nice. These are, you know, almost like a thicker black legging with a kind of elasticated waistband and really nice little feature with a um, a zip here to the ankle. Again, it's kind of really on trend right now to have this ankle split on your leggings to wear with heels and things. Um, but primarily, I just love the idea of getting a really great pair of black thicker trouser leggings, like jeggings I suppose. And these are awesome. These fit so nice. They're the thickness that they don't show any lumps and bumps. Yeah, they look great actually. I mean, could tuck this all in for a full, full catsuit look like this. If I then, let's just build a really good outfit here. Throw on the boots. Oh, this would be so much easier with a pair of socks. Body boy, let's try it again. So sucks. Okay, boots on. Even better over leggings. Oh my gosh, look at that outfit. Autumnal tones complete. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It just feels like this top with the leggings feels really catsuit like, and then you've got this incredible blazer over top and then a bit of colour to the leggings. Sold, sold, this is amazing. Okay, final top, final knit to show you guys. It's a little bit alike to that Kate burgundy top, the sweetheart neckline and the shoulders, although the shoulders do fit a little more on the shoulders, they're not falling off quite the same. But the difference with this is that it's got this slightly lower cropped back for a little bit of extra detail. And I saw it, thought it was wonderful. It's and this is again really, really nice. If you could just like tuck the front, then you've got the back showing, and that's such nice detail. You know, it's got the cat suit like, but slightly lower price point too than the burgundy. If you were looking for a similar style, it's very similar. It's nowhere near as thick, but it's very similar and it's equally gorgeous. But I love the back. I really love that. It just falls be below the bra. So you can wear a bra and it not affect it. We've got a little bit of back skin. On show, and again, it's quite nice, just a little bit of sleeve. That looks equally as great. Okay, final piece and one I was really looking forward to. In fact, technically, two final pieces. I am going to style up this jumpsuit with a new pair of heels. I didn't buy this, I didn't buy these in this box of things, but I did buy them a few days ago because, as you guys know, I've said it many times, these have been my most worn heels for the past few months. I must have worn these 25 times or more by now, they're a little bit battered. And so I saw they came in a cherry red and I bought them because they're amazing. 
and I love them. So I'm gonna style this up together. This is a dream jumpsuit. Um, I am just a bit aware that it is rather long. Yeah, even with heels on, it's just a little bit too long, hopefully. I can't see, I can't see you at all there, but hopefully. Oh, it's such a shame. It is such a shame. It is just about an inch, an inch too long. But if you guys think it's amazing, it could be an easy fix, I'll get them taken up. But this is an incredible jumpsuit. Belts up, got the most beautiful fit to this, like a blazer style top, belted into the perfect fitting trousers. I mean, it really does fit, like it literally is right up there. I mean, it really does fit like a dream, doesn't it? It feels very like 90s supermodel. Style of jumpsuit. I love it, but it is too long. So you guys let me know, is this worth taking up an inch or two to get it perfect? So it's completely right for me. What would you, what would you suggest? Do you think this is better than the blazer? As good as the blazer? Or is this better than the blazer? I can't, in honesty, I'm kind of out of the really out the really expensive pieces in this uh, box of items was kind of hoping to keep one either the blazer the coat or this but now seeing them i'm not too sure right i really have kept you a long time now for this video <laughs> but yeah that is everything guys for this little unboxing let me know what you think what you'd keep what you wouldn't i realized everything was very much in a color scheme of autumn tones but it's just so me right now, so let me know what you think. Right, I'm going to go get the house ready for my um, my cousin, my cousin's husband, and their little baby Ted is coming over. Um, I'm gonna have a little night in because, as I said, it is my 10 year anniversary of In The Fro and I really wanted to do a really big thing for it. Time has got too busy for me to organize anything myself, so time has come and gone so yeah so we're not doing anything for it really specifically now which is a bit of a shame but at least I get to see my family and we can have a nice little drink and toast to it which is great so I'm gonna go get myself sorted for that but yeah let me know everything that I've worn will be linked down below guys I think everything I've picked up really is a fantastic autumn piece I couldn't be more happy with this I I know I say it every time but I really think this might be the best the best kind of net-a-porter haul um, I may have ever done because now I'm thinking I may need to keep the majority of everything that I have bought. Equally, if I'm not going to buy too much else for, you know, for autumn, then these are going to be my staples, which is great. So, yeah, let me know what you think.